Hey guys, what's up? Old Hell Dorado here. First thing you want to do when you spawn in on Red Dead Online is come to where I am at. You want to be facing north right at this spot to get your camp to spawn right here. It may take a couple times to get it, but the shortest distance to do trader runs is right here at Scratching Post. And over here at Benedict Point. And like I said, it may take a couple times. Right now, we're not worrying about making money off the trader roll. We're just building our trader roll up to make a lot of money. Then, this is also a bonus on it too. You see where I'm at? I'm at level 8 on this. But there are awards that you can get when you're doing this super fast. Let's see, this one right here, earn cash from trading. You can build up real quick doing this. Uh, supply missions, you can do that if you want to. Sell goods to buyers. Four gold bars when you max them out. Sell to 15 different buyers, well, that's different. And there's also other awards I showed through the video. Now, you want to have your trader filled up. The best time to fill it up was when he stops production and you got to order materials and when you do order materials to get him to kick back real fast instead of waiting for him to come in just go to free roam or go to your menu then go to camp spawn back in and he'll start his business again now we're gonna haul ass over here and this is for the new players this is one of my oldest secrets I've never let this out we're not really worried about money. We're worried about maxing them awards out and getting the gold and leveling up the trader. You're going to get money. It's going to be slow at a time. But the point of it is, you're maxing them out quick. And on your way back to camp, because it's spawned here, you can get some pelts and stuff and still keep him stocked up while he is working. It don't matter if they're good, bad, or whatever. Shoot birds, shoot rabbits, shoot squirrels, shoot whatever. To Donate to him. That's well, extra well, XP. And a lot of times on these missions, because I'm in an MTU lobby, it works oh, best in solo lobby. You're going to get XP when these guys spawn in. Now, see, I go between three to five goods, and I make a local delivery. Like I said, it'd either be there at Scratching Post, or it'd be over here at Benedict Point. Sometimes the, the guys will spawn in, sometimes they won't. Take all them guys out, you're making XP off of them. And that's leveling up your character, it's also getting the awards for your guns and all that. Make sure you loot all of them, because they're going to give you some goody goods. Deliver your wagon. Bam. You're going to get 200 trader, no matter what. The money varies. Like I said, I usually do three to five. And again, if you got a friend with a trader wagon, and it's got the naturalist roll and can get a wagon full of good pelts and stock you up, that's good. Just make sure you help him out. Now we're going to go to rolls. As you can see, I'm slowly climbing up the ladder. It's faster than trying to sit and wait 48 to 45 to 48 minutes for him to get a full load. And all it's going to build up these awards. And you're going to get gold for these. This one, yeah, you're going to get a lot of gold bars, enough to buy another roll by the time you're done with this. This is really good math. This is one of my oldest secrets. Nobody's ever put it out there. So I thought I would because I'm getting a ton of questions about how to level up the trader because the trader is the longest and hardest one to level up. And this is how to do it. It's not super fast, but you'll do it. You're also getting awards for like traveling by coach, using your sharpshooter, using your rifles, using your pistols, and all that. You're going to be making a lot of gold off of it. So it's really, really not a bad method. It's how I max mine out. No, it's not super fast, but it works. You're always running trader. And again, when he stops production... That's when you load his ass up completely full of everything. And the easiest to get, if you ain't got the naturalist to get the legendary pelts, is to get feathers, gator teeth, cougar teeth, feathers, stuff like that. It will max him out. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm out.